And Secretary of State Hillary Clinton will travel to Haiti tomorrow. During her visit, she will meet with President Rene Garcia Preval. You know, the images coming from his battered nation are both gut-wrenching and heartbreaking. And folks from around the world are working now around the clock to help the victims. Hundreds of thousands of Haitians now surviving in a tent city, their homes destroyed. Amid the rubble of crumbled buildings, the search for victims continues. Officials estimate 40 to 50,000 people are dead. Planes arrive from the U.S. and other nations, bringing in much-needed food, water, and medical supplies. Some people, desperate for survival, have started looting, taking whatever they can find. Others worry about possible rioting. We're waiting for three or four days. This cannot do nothing. The president, with the president, is staying in the airport. Well, he don't do nothing for us. But now we do, we do our best. The USS Carl Vinson aircraft carrier also en route to provide air support and security. President Obama pledging America's full support to a nation in need. Our nation has a unique capacity to reach out quickly and broadly and to deliver assistance that can save lives. Mr. Obama has asked former presidents Bill Clinton and George W. Bush to spearhead efforts to further engage Americans in helping Haiti. The three will meet at the White House tomorrow. Now, here in the Midlands, people certainly embrace that philosophy. Uh, people are working to help Haiti in our community. We know that Calvary Baptist Church in Hopkins is organizing a relief effort. State Representative Joe Neal, the pastor there. Students at Spring Valley High School are collecting things like toothpaste, soap, blankets, and other items for the victims in Haiti. The students will hold a noon rally on Wednesday at the school's soccer field. And if you'd like to donate to the American Red Cross, we do have a direct link on our website. Visit MidlandsConnect.com and pledge your support to helping Haiti.